Welcome back to Switch to Linux. It is Monday and it is time for another Linux Top 5. And today we want to talk about five reasons to learn TAILS. So of course, TAILS is the is an acronym for the Amnetic Incognito Live System. Wow, two of those words did not come out right. Uh, basically, amnesia and privacy are the key factors inside of Tails. And there are a lot of distros that are now trying to be privacy distros, and a lot of people are coming out. There, there's one called Heads. Um, there's numerous other ones. I, I reviewed another one recently. I can't remember what it is, and it really didn't have anything in there that uh, that really excited me. And the thing about Tails is, uh, it is it is definitely more solid, more functionality, and more feature available than a lot of the other ones that are coming up behind it, trying to be like it. And uh, it's I'm not criticizing that other ones should come out and try. It's just that I haven't seen anything that yet holds its hand to Tails for its purpose. So before we dive into this, first, we have to say that Tails is not something that you install on your computer as a daily driver. It is designed to run on a USB stick. And so um, if you're wanting to run something on a computer for security and privacy, the combined features that Tails gives, you want to run cubes. If you want to do it in a virtual machine, you want to run Hunix. If you're going to do it on a USB key, you run it on Tails. Um, and just to note, I will be doing the video here running Tails in a virtual machine. You may see a warning notice about that. Um, like I said, you don't generally want to use Tails inside that virtual machine. Uh, I'm just doing it for the purpose of showing this video. Number one, it is easy to verify your download and get your download prepped to put on your computer. And if you already have it set up, then it has, it generally has a, an easy upgrade path. Oftentimes it just alerts you there's an update, gives you the option to push the button and install the update. That is often how simple it actually is. Now, if uh, you do not yet have it installed, you can head on over to Tails website and you can click on the install button and then you answer the questions here. Are you installing from Windows, Mac, or Linux? All right, so um, depending on which version you're on, you wanna click on that button. And then from here, we have the tail trees. So uh, installing from another tails, you need one other tails USB stick or DVD and um, one USB stick for the install in about a half an hour. If you're gonna download and install it, you're gonna need one USB stick for, um, uh, for tails. You're gonna need to run about an hour to download it, assuming your download speed is slow. Mine downloaded it in a few seconds and then half an hour to install. And then you can install it from Linux or you can install it from a command line. Now the other options there are, the one I generally do is if you're going to download to put onto a USB stick, you just grab the USB only. And if you're gonna download it to put onto a virtual machine, you download the one for DVDs and virtual machines. So when you click in on one of those, you have the option to download it here. And then what you're going to do is you can install a browser extension which will automatically verify, or you can do it manually with a verification key, or you can download a torrent file and the torrent will verify your download for you. Once you get that, put that onto your system. Now the installation process, and I will card and link another video in the description here about the installation process. That one will also have the persistent volume. We'll talk about that in a moment. Um, you will need two USB sticks if you're going to actually install it. You don't actually have to install it to a USB stick to use it. You can use it as a live distribution. Um, and that are, there is some slight difference between that and the installation. But number one is very easy verification and very easy upgrade path. Number two, Tails is mostly configured for most users. Now, it is not a magic bullet, it is not a perfect option, and you never generally want to use Tails to log into something that you might also be using with a non-Tails um, IP address. In other words, using Tails, you can completely de-anonymize yourself if you log into Google or Facebook and you've also logged into those from a different IP address. 
Now, there's a, a number of other things that Tails will not do. There is a warning page that you can view on their website about what it does not necessarily protect you against. But for the most part, for the average user, if you're using Tails to do something like go over uh, um, the Tor network to maybe you're researching some weird symptom you have, maybe you're trying to research something else that for whatever reason, security or privacy, you don't want linked back to you, whatever else. Maybe you're looking for different jobs and you don't want to risk your employer spotting what you're doing. Okay, these are types of things that you might use Tails for. For most users, it is already configured. The web browser is configured with HTTPS everywhere. It's um, encrypt, um, installed with some ad blockers. It's installed with um, um, no script to disable JavaScripting. All the types of things that make surfing the internet a little bit more dangerous, all those are set up. And then there's a lot of other tools and systems, but more importantly, the Tor setup. So if you were to download the Tor browser individually to install on your system, there's oftentimes a lot more steps you need to do to ensure everything's working right. Tails has that taken care of for most users out of the box without a problem. Number three, it is very easy to set up a persistent volume. So if you are unfamiliar with what that term means, a persistent volume is when you have a USB stick and you install a live operating system onto it so you can plug this in, boot from it, and start your computer, that only uses a certain amount of space. The rest of that space is not being used. So a persistent volume is when you can use the rest of your space to set up a drive that when you, when you boot up the system, you can log into that drive and you will have a place to store things. Now, everything on that is encrypted with Lux. And so it's very well encrypted. So if you plug this into something else, just to see what's on there, all you see is a big encrypted volume that you can't do anything with. All right, so the configuration of such a volume sometimes is easy, sometimes is difficult, depends on the system. Um, one of the other supposedly privacy-based systems didn't even allow me to mount a volume very easily, let alone create a persistent volume. Tails actually has a tool specifically for that. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you exactly how to use it because we are running this off of a live DVD image, and you have to run this tool off of an install. I do have a video about this and it is in the description. So you can look for the video about installing uh, Tails and setting up a persistent volume. So you just want to come on down here to Tails and there is an option here for configure persistent volume. When I click this up, you'll see it says there's an error uh, because I am not running this off of an installed um, Tails instance. But that's exactly where it is and uh, it makes it very easy to set that up. You can find the video about how to do all those in the description down below. Number four, Tails includes most tools needed for most users for most purposes. There is a lot packed inside of this little distribution, so much so that whether you're needing documents or video editors or um, sharing file sharing utilities or emails or chat, you have the capabilities of installing this without installing extra software. Remember, every extra piece of software you are to add on top of your system is a potential vector for spying to compromise security and to compromise privacy. So what the Tails team has done is they've gone in here and put together a lot of different packages so that pretty much anything that you need, you will be able to find. Under the favorites, we have our Tor browser. Of course, this is for Tor, Thunderbird, Pigeon, KeePassX, and Terminal. Under our accessories, you'll see we have KeePassX, um, of which you can, store your, uh, you can store your password file on your persistent volume. We have graphics, including GIMP, Inkscape, Scribus, LibreDraw, and SimpleScan. We have Electrium Bitcoin Wallet. We have Onion Share, which will allow you to share files anonymously through Tor. We have Thunderbird. We do have an unsafe browser. Um, you would use this if you're on a coffee shop and you need to get logged into 
uh, logged in and agree to whatever they want you to agree to, the unsafe browser will allow you to do that. And then once it's online, then you can actually access Tor at that point. And then we have a full office suite. The LibreOffice suite is on here, um, which contains, it does not appear as though it has the databasing features, but it does have everything else. Um, Poedit, uh, Libre Math. We have Audacity, TV, Presario, Sound User, Sound Recorder, Traverso, and Videos. And then a variety of system tools, including, once again, you can find your configuring persistent volumes, Synaptic, Tails Installer is what you use to actually install Tails. Also, there is the, I'm not going to talk about this on this particular video, but you do have the ability to load up this and install additional software. Again, it will not run because we are not running this off of a, an install. We're running this off of a live key. But you click this, and this is going to actually install the software to your persistent volume, which will increase the security of the system. So most tools are included for most of your average users. Number five, multiple encryption types are supported. This is a fairly new feature, uh, but VeraCrypt is now also supported by Tails, if that was your reason for not wanting to use it. It has always worked with Lux. You could use Lux all the time, day and night. The persistent volume is Lux, and uh, you can always set that up. But now, as of, I think they put it in in 3.11 or 3.12, I forget exactly when they put it in, you can come over to your utilities and there is an unlock VeraCrypt volumes as well. So if you're using VeraCrypt or Lux, you will be able to get into your system and uh, get whatever done you need to get done inside of your, your Tails system. So you have all of these various options uh, all of these various tools and all of these encryption types as well. Does it have every encryption type? No, but it definitely has the most popular kinds that you can use. So there are my top five reasons for learning Tails and keeping yourself a little USB key floating around on your keychain so you can always get into a system uh, when, you, uh, when you need to. Uh, let me know your top reasons for using Tails in the description down below. You can help support the channel by having a look at the links above me or in the comments down below and follow along on the social media if you would like more updates as to when we release new videos.